Joining me for this CEO Spotlight is David LaRue, President and CEO of Forest City Realty Trust. David, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, thank you for having me. Now, your company's recently undertaken an effort to deleverage its balance sheet. Where do things stand with that currently? Uh, we're making uh, great progress on that. Uh, you know, when we started and came out of the recession, we were almost 14 times net debt to EBITDA. Uh, we are now in the mid eights. Uh, and our target is to be uh, between uh, seven and eight uh, by uh, 2017. So we continue to work uh, and strive and, and invest in the balance sheet, which is uh, we think is a, 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 an additional way to create value for the company and its shareholders. And also earlier this year, Force City evaluated collapsing its dual class share structure, but you ultimately opted to keep it. Can you give us some insight into how that decision was made? Well, um, uh, th those discussions are still ongoing. Uh, they're ongoing between uh, RMS, the controlling uh, share uh, uh, limited partnership and a special committee of the board. Uh, so those discussions are continuing as uh, we indicated in our press release. Uh, and again, it's uh, uh, based upon a review of what would be uh, best practices and what would be uh, you know, good governance. And so uh, that discussion continues. And where do things stand now with Forest City's portfolios of regional malls and your specialty retail properties? So uh, in August, we announced that we were going to do a strategic review of those assets. Uh, our objective uh, is to continue to focus our business. Uh, and when we looked across uh, our remaining uh, portfolio, you know, we had uh, looked at the successes we had. We sold the, the Nets, we sold Barclays Center, we sold military housing, we have a contract to sell our FA portfolio. Uh, and so we were down to um, uh, retail, which were regional malls and urban retail, and then office and residential. As we look forward, strategically said, uh, focusing on that office and uh, residential portfolio in the core markets we're in made the most sense. So we're in discussions with our partners. Uh, uh, it's a quality portfolio. Those are uh, both quality portfolios. We have great partners, QIC in our regional malls and Madison International in our New York portfolio. And so uh, those uh, discussions continue and it's uh, moving forward, uh, uh, we hope, towards uh, some resolution uh, again by the first quarter of this next year. And lastly, Forest City operates in some of the core real estate markets in the U.S., New York, Washington. Do you have any concerns about the strength in the near term of those markets? I, I think uh, your question is very insightful because uh, near term, uh, we're expecting uh, in New York, for example, in the residential market, uh, uh, you know, almost 30,000 units being delivered. Uh, the strength of the market long term will absorb those. Uh, the demand uh, generators of people uh, will uh, absorb those apartment uh, uh, units that come to market. Uh, when we look at our office portfolio in those markets, it remains strong. Um, it, looking at Washington, I think I have a little bit less of a concern with regard to Washington. It, it's not going to have the same number of deliveries. Uh, and specific to Forced City, uh, we are um, in a sub-market that has great demand uh, at this point. And uh, the, the, the deliveries, uh, while are, uh, are heavy, uh, they're, they're not going to, I think, uh, outstrip demand even in the near term. So uh, it, it, each, each market's different. Uh, but um, with all core markets, with all these great uh, markets we have across the United States, uh, having a demand uh, via people uh, for the, the supply uh, will, it will ultimately get absorbed. David, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. For more on this and other news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.